It's a nice cinematic shot of the pillars, the old bridge, and the sea -dos. <laughs> Oh, that, that could have been fun. What a great day out. This is phenomenal. Good morning and welcome to a new adventure, the first proper adventure of the season. And uh, we've chosen, well, I'll say I've chosen, uh, Jordan Harbour. And it's been a bit of a kerfuffle already. Uh, and I'll tell you about the weather very, very shortly because that's one of the main factors. Hang on, I think my lens is dirty. All right, there we go. So anyway, we're down at Jordan Harbour. I arranged this with Mark Forrest, who's here with me. Woody's with me. I've got two other riders with me, uh, Kyle and his wife. What's Kyle's? Kim. Kim, Kim, that's it, I already forgot. So there's one, two, there's five of us today. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. So uh, yeah, we're gonna explore Jordan Harbour. Uh, I came here last year with Mark, and we, we tried doing a video here with Mark, um, and my video uh, footage didn't come out due to a microphone problem. So uh, it came out today, and we're gonna try and correct that. Now, here's the funny thing, the weather, <laughs> All right. I went out yesterday on Lake Ontario on Lake Erie and it was like 18 degrees it was really really nice and I, I looked at the weather here and it was really really cold the same is being said for today we've got a quite a bit of a strong easterly breeze still which is meant to come around to the south very very shortly in probably the next hour or two but it's currently seven degrees Celsius here right now and just to show you what Crystal Beach is like at this very moment 20 degrees and it's only like 30 kilometers as a crow flies on the other side of Niagara here. So anyway, I'll just show you the gang that's with us. Uh, this should be a good adventure because we're going to go up the uh, the very shallow part underneath the QEW and up to the uh, old railway bridge. Here's a good friend of mine as well. It is uh, it is wonderful paddle boat. Is it too choppy? There's a huge uh, oh swell bobbing in. There's a big swell coming going into Jordan and I could make it in. All right, that was Orin. He's uh, here and he's a uh, wonderful super light 22 pound uh, kayak so we have kyle here on his uh, beautiful uh, rxp his wife's over there on her rxt i believe uh woody on the uh the 230 which is i love that color and of course mr forest over there so we're gonna head out over here um orange just told me there's actually some swells in the harbor as we go out so it might get a little choppy we're gonna go under the qew and then uh, make our way up to the historic uh, bridge at Jordan. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Then later on, when the weather and the winds change, we'll have a bit of fun out on the lake, maybe head to Grimsby or the other way uh, to Port Dalhousie. So anyway, let's go and have some fun on the lake today. Gotta watch out for your sticks. All right, Mark. Mark is already checking out the old uh, Hermine, Hermine, whatever, shipwreck. Now, uh, this year, to let you know what happened, uh, a tender was put out to take the mast down on this ship because they were becoming very, very unsafe. So I think it was in January or early February, there was a construction crew out here and they actually took the masts off the ship uh, to uh, help uh, make it a little safer. Uh, but there is a contract out right now to salvage this ship and get it out of here. A lot of people are wanting this ship to stay here because uh, it's become quite a bit of a landmark since it's been here for the last 20, 30 years. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens over the coming uh, months, what happens. But right now, we've just got the geese nested in there. and uh, But it's still a nice place to just kayak around or even take the ski around and so on. But anyway, we're going to head out there and uh, probably get wet a little bit and uh, have some fun. As you can already see, uh, it's a little choppy. <laughs> so I think we might get wet. So the idea is we're gonna go under the QEW, which is just over there. So we'll just go out, get out of this little chop here. Then we'll make a line into there. <sighs> Woo! Now I can tell you that wind is pretty fresh. 
I can't believe it's 20 degrees in Crystal Beach and we decide to come here on Lake Ontario and it's only 7 degrees. Uh, but the forecast is for about up to 16 this afternoon, so that'll be a lot pleasant, a lot more pleasant. Now I did bring my drone, but it's a bit too windy at the moment. Maybe we'll get a drone shot on the way back. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get under the QEW. And uh, Mark's already gone. The others are behind. It does go shallow very quick in places. The last time I came here, it goes to like two or three feet, but the, the base of the uh, the waterway here is like silt. Oh, watch out for the logs. Log! There's a lot of debris around. Now, there's a lot of um, people saying this is, you can not have to bring motorized vehicles, sport, uh, sorry, motorized vessels in here. Now, I can't find that information anywhere, and same with a lot of other people. Um, the only thing we could find is that it says no motorized vessels being launched in the harbor. So long as we take our time, we don't think it'll be a problem. Sorry, long as we take our time, I should say. Watch out for sticks like that. So look how calm it's gone now. So we're into this and we're down to, uh, it's nine feet right now. So it's just a very slow way up to the, the uh, historic bridges there at Jordan. So basically what we're doing is just idling up here. Uh, we're doing like eight kilometers an hour. Um, now this area, some of it is protected wetlands uh, under the conservation area. And from what I can see on the map, it was literally on that side of the harbour and then I've been past that bridge. Uh, most of this is not part of it, but you can't launch motorised uh, vessels in here. But there's nothing ever saying you can't ride one in here. Uh, but you do have to ride at your own risk uh, because it is very shallow. So myself and Mark of depth finders and uh, you basically, you got to stay pretty close to where we are, but Woody hasn't got the memo yet. <laughs> Watch him run aground. <laughs> now, the waters here are very murky, but we just know it's, uh, it's shallow. We're at five and a half feet right now. And I know when we get close to the bridge, it's like two or three, two or three feet, and there's a bit of a channel uh, we had to find last time to make sure we stayed in good uh, depth of water. That could have been fun. That really could have been fun. All right, Bob, Woody just got his uh, sea view out of storage the other day. So it's the first time it's been on the water. So uh, Mark's just going to test it out quickly, make sure oh, you pass. Ooh, just to make sure it's uh, running fine. Now, when I pulled mine out, when I went out for the first time, it was, I had a bit of a knocking sensation, but it seems to have gone now. Once I've blown, I might have been the old gas. It's been there all winter. bridges here originally this is a th well, actually uh, the, the first there was three originally <clears throat> the first one was built in like the 1850s because the first passenger train that went over here was like 1851 and that bridge got kind of 
uh, demolished and a, a better bridge was built which is the stone one we're going to see very very shortly it's built by the great western railway company um i believe i have to double check that very shortly uh, and then it was demolished but they left the pillars up and the bridge we see right in front of us is the current one which is still in use which is a nice iron bridge and uh that's operated that's used by cn rail and uh, that's bringing all the goods from, let's say, Hamilton or wherever over to the US border and Buffalo down that way. So uh, it's really, really cool. So we're going to try and get up a little bit further and we'll stop. And I might even try and uh, get the drone up if I can and get some shots because the breeze is quite light here. And I never launched my drone off my sea do. Are you doing it? Yes, I'm going to launch my drone. I may end up in the water with it. <laughs> Now there's a lot of wildlife around here, so I don't, I'm just gonna go between the two bridges, I think, and just sit right there. There's a guy on a kayak, so we'll just move up a little bit further. See, these are the uh, pillars I'm on about. Look at this. This is beautiful. So this bridge was built in 1867, and uh, they took the tops off it, but left the pillars here. And the, uh, the, the, the quarry stone here, which was used to build the pillars, actually came from a local quarry uh, not too far away. So uh, yeah, so it's, it's a nice historical part of uh, the area which I love to see. And I did a video on this quite a while back because I, I walked over that way. Now, if you look just over there, there's one, two, there's actually three remaining arches, which are pretty cool to see. Uh, so it gives you an idea what the bridge would have looked like if it was completely uh, completed. Uh, so you got arches there, then the metal trussets would have gone right across uh, over to there. And uh, yeah, it's all overgrown over that way now, but it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to come up here a little bit further, and then I'm going to see if I can launch a drone. <laughs> These damn YouTubers just, you know what? So you can just see at the top where the... Uh, the actual frame would have gone right through and carried it right across. So very, very neat to see. That's very, uh, it's a nice cinematic shot of the pillars, the old bridge and the sea -dos. It's really cool. All right, so there we have it. I managed to get the drone up and I didn't crash it. Oh, you made it out then, you got out. Oh yeah, you see those two guys? All right, time to leave the bridge behind us and uh, head out onto Lake Ontario. And sadly, we just checked the weather forecast. It looks like those easterly winds aren't gonna die down like they originally forecasted this morning. So uh, as we drive, uh, as we ride back down towards the lake, you're already feeling the breeze quite strongly now, which really sucks. It's going to make for a bit of a cold ride out here, but hell, oh well, we're going to have some fun.
start thinking I might um, jump in the car and head to Crystal Beach where currently right now it's like 23, 24 degrees. It is still only seven degrees here, but literally 30 kilometers away, it's uh, 23, 24, unbelievable. Right, we just had a quick vote and uh, it's still pretty cold here. So what we're gonna do, and there's quite a big swell, so it's not gonna be very good to play in because the water's so cold. So we can be in Crystal Beach within one hour from now. Right now it's 24 degrees down there. So that is where we're heading. We're gonna quickly load up. So we'll be on the water in Lake Erie in one hour. So let's do this. Oh, that ain't bad. It took us 10 minutes from when we decided to go to Crystal Beach to get all the skis out, get them hooked up and uh head to crystal beach i reckon we'll be in crystal beach by 12 30. yeah I, I got the weather wrong Hold on. i got the, the, the guy that has the channel is chasing storms can't figure out a north wind versus a south i'm looking at him like all right so we're gonna go to his place we're gonna hang out in his area if he's wrong <laughs> twice in a row don't you know, listen listen the weather network showed easterly winds <laughs> Now and they north. are. Now they are north. north, yeah, they have gone north. Yeah. And they're meant to be southerly. Yeah. They set at 12 o'clock and now they change it to like 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, so I'm not waiting that long. Yeah, really? Crystal Beach, 22 oh, degrees. I was going to hold it for you. <laughs> 22 degrees. Right. So we're going to head to Crystal Beach right now. Just hooking up the last two skis and uh, go down there. A lot warmer and we'll have a ride to uh, Point Ebeno Lighthouse and Port Coburn. Let's do it. Oh, my watch is wrong. It's 12... I thought it was 11.70. It's 12.17. So... Uh, We'll be in the water within 40, about 45 minutes to an hour. And we left Jordan 10 minutes ago, it was 7 degrees. Look at it now, 14. Within a matter of a few minutes, look at that. 7 degrees to 24 degrees. Made a good call coming down to the uh, Crystal Beach. So, uh, two part video, to be continued. It's not even a current or anything, it's beautiful. Look at this, it's glass, it is fantastic. Being dwarfed by this huge, huge ship. I know, I'm going up. We're getting, we're getting sucked in. Jeez. 